Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing this evening? Woo! Lord, have mercy. Oh. Can wife slash fiance. Listen. Listen very close. I know you said it's not worth it. But you know how I feel about you. Uh, come to my attention, somebody, somebody nudged me and said, look at here. You know what I'm talking about? They said, look here. Oh. You know my blood runs deep through these streets, baby. Oh, Lord. I just want to say, dear ladies and gentlemen of the Tarot, have you ever seen somebody that's so weak that they uh, uno card in reverse like times 25, you know what I'm saying? Draw a 25 joint. You know what I'm talking about? Woo! Lord, you don't disrespect no beautiful woman like that. Ain't your mama taught you nothing? You know what I'm saying? Or did she just drop you and roll? You know what I'm talking about? You know, a lot of people was like that. You know what I'm saying? They brought like that. You know what I'm saying? They brought here like that. You know what I'm saying? Just drop them and roll. You know what I'm saying? They ain't had no kind of guidance or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But listen here, young man. Cut that out. Okay? You understand? I, I ask God. I actually begged them to help me work on this. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I do not do things like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a very respectable person. If you ever want to be anything in life, son, you should be a very respectable person. You know what I'm talking about? You don't get your way acting like that. You know, that's that sound, you sound very bitter and jealous. You know, and God didn't put you here for that. You know what I'm saying? Project that energy that you're trying to put out on on my woman. Project that energy, you know, towards something positive that you can do for yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Or for somebody else. Why you want to look that way? You know what I'm talking about? They obviously they ain't paying you no attention. Or they're trying to get past you. Or they're trying to do something. You, you know, anything. You know what I'm saying? They... They ain't worried about you, but you worry about them. You know. My my, my uh, person is very loyal, and she's devoted, just like I am. You may not see us together. You know what I'm talking about? But that ain't none of y'all business, though, neither. So please, please, don't do that. You know what I'm talking about? Baby, I love you. You already know I do. So, I don't have to say no more of that. I can get back to the people, the people, the positive people, the people of the Lord, the people that love Jesus. I can get back to them right now. You know what I'm saying? And let him talk through me through these scriptures and give you my honest opinion on it and this is just my opinion I don't claim this to be facts coming out from me I'm showing you what you need to know here and you can do your own research I think I got a clear understanding my understanding might not be the same as yours but that's no reason to try to shame or, or try to proclaim that you know better. The whole purpose and focus is on the Lord, not how the message is grown.
if you decide that you want to go along with just from what somebody else say and not do your own research, that's why I try to show it to you. Then you are willing to be a blinded sheep led to the slaughter. I've been watching this type of thing going on. Join over in Tennessee. They got that. They they doing that. And I commend that uh, uh, Apostle Jennings. I commend him for getting down there. You know what I'm talking about? And speaking the truth. I, I swear he just, just the same day that a, a video of his dropped. I had just got through talking about that. And I haven't watched that video until today. You know what I'm talking about? So I know that I'm right in my head about how I think about certain situations. Because somebody else see it. You know what I'm talking about? The Lord didn't put them thoughts in my head in vain. Lord, what we gonna tell the people? What we gonna tell the people? Let me give them a good word from you. Oh, that has released. You know, this is authentic and nothing. The devil has no foothold here on anybody on my channel in my life. It's first king sixteen. Look like hot solid two. This is first king seventeen. Look like a hot solid ten. Woo, but you already know we might run that joint. We got time. It says for as much as I exalt thee out of the dust. Which we are all dust of the universe. And made the prince over my people. Lord, I don't live by no title. I just lead by your word. It's Israel. And thou hast walked in the way of Jeroboam. Jeroboam, yeah. And has made my people Israel to sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins. You know, I, I me myself, I ain't mad about it. I just had to just let let little buddy know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know, I'm going head on now. You know what I'm talking about? Don't dwell. Just go head on. You still got tomorrow to live, brother. You know what I'm talking about? Just go ahead. Ain't nobody on that. That's childish. You understand? We're trying to elevate our minds and go forward and be great in life. We're not trying to be stuck. Sitting up trying to disgrace anybody. We're trying to uplift each other. You coming with negative energy, man. You can flip that around. You know what I'm talking about? Woo. Joint going off. Somebody trying to get a hold of him. But yeah. That's just plain ridiculous. You know what I'm talking about? You have to change your mindset. Because, you know, when I hear no, I hear I can get better elsewhere. You know what I'm talking about? Rejection is protection. The Lord has done this to me plenty of times. Just for the time to come be right. You know, he don't want you to rush. He wants you to grow accustomed to what he wants for you you stunt your growth when you come with negativity I 
Oh Lord. Preach and teach. You know what I'm talking about? Hey baby, preach and teach. You know what I'm saying? Joker don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? What you saying? Don't worry about it. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you be doing. And everything is is gonna be alright. You know what I'm saying? Some people can't take their own mess that they put themselves in. I, I I've been there too. We all have. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I stood up and changed my life. You know what I'm talking about? Because if I didn't, I'd be running around here mad. Well, you know, what am I mad for? God be blessing me. He blessed me with a beautiful woman, a, a good business, a good mind. Beautiful kids, don't give me no problems. You know what I'm saying? He blessed me to, to cut out a lot of negative people in my life. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Hey. He, he, woo. I can't praise him enough. You know how often I hit my knees. You know what I'm saying? Not even if I hit my knee, you know how often I speak on him. You know what I'm talking about? He come out in that conversation now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, speak him into existence with persistence and watch him come to you. It says, So he arose and went to Zarephath. Zarephath. And when he came to the gates of the city, behold, the window woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Hold on. Let's join a little long way. You don't run that joint. Yeah. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And then she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a curse and behold I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die Woo! You know, sometimes when you say things that's hurtful and you later on regret it after you didn't hurt somebody, you never know how that person really feel inside that was probably trying to say something and express something to you to make you feel better about yourself. Sometimes we get misunderstandings. And from this what right here, what I read, it was like the man came and intervened in her trying to take her and her son's life so that they would stop suffering. But you see how nice she was to go and fetch that water. You know what I'm talking about? While she was busy gathering her deathbed. You know what I'm talking about? Can you discern that? 
Can you braille me? You know what I'm talking about? He was divine intervention. The Lord, he was sent by the Lord to to investigate. This was a, a, a cross fate, just like how me and me and my king the wife man. This was a cross fate for God from God. So yeah, I go hard for. Her. Yeah, I love her dirty draws, brother. And you know, this is authentic or nothing. Uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all later on in the morning.